After a 25-year career as an investment banker, Andy Neff was at the top of his game. For the past 16 consecutive years, he'd been named on the Wall Street Journal's all-star team of investment bankers. He was a Baal Tshuva who'd begun learning quite late on in his life. And as he put it, he'd never really had the opportunity to delve into the Torah and its commentaries. He'd even considered taking a sabbatical year to do so, but as he said, after a good year, he needed just one more good year. And of course, if there was a bad year, then he definitely needed another good year. And so things continued until one day, everything changed. You see, the firm that Andy worked for was called Bear Stearns. It was one of the most prestigious Wall Street financial institutions, having never made a loss in its long and distinguished history until one Friday, on the 7th of March, 2008, Andy left his office. And by the time he came back on Monday morning, Bear Stearns no longer existed. It was the first big victim of the Wall Street crash in 2008. Andy was quickly offered another job by JP Morgan, the firm who bought up what was left of Bear Stearns, an equally prestigious position to continue what he'd been doing, but he declined. Instead, he took the opportunity to pursue his learning in the yeshiva in Teaneck, New Jersey. And he gave a talk at a dinner in Teaneck where he described his decision-making process. I'd begun learning with Rabbi Roberts from the Rosh Yeshiva, the Rosh Yeshiva in Teaneck several months earlier. We began to talk about learning one or two mornings a week, says Andy. But when it came down to it, I could never find the time. But the Almighty found the time for me. He cleared my entire schedule. God opened up all of my mornings and arranged a sabbatical year for me. The incredible thing is that Andy could have followed the rest of his colleagues and just continued working as he had done before. But he understood that if God had freed up all of his time, then he was giving him a message that now was the time, now was the opportunity to pursue that Torah learning he had always wanted to do. This Shavuot, I think we can all agree that God has freed up time in our diaries. Let's use this opportunity to make that commitment, to pursue our Torah learning. If you're learning once a week, let's learn twice a week. And if you're doing twice, then maybe you can do three times. Whatever it is, let's use this year to increase our share in the Torah. Wishing you a happy and healthy and meaningful Shavuot.